What does a quantum wave look like? In this short video, we explore one way to bring the wave function to life by visualizing it as a three-dimensional curve for a particle in a one-dimensional box. Let's start by defining our system. Imagine a particle that can move only along a line, we'll take that line to be the x-axis. Now let the particle's motion be confined between two solid, impenetrable walls. The color of the walls has no physical meaning, it's purely for visual appeal. This trapped one-dimensional particle is what physicists commonly refer to as the particle-in-a-box system. The picture we've constructed so far is purely classical, it doesn't capture how a quantum particle actually behaves. In quantum mechanics, a particle doesn't have simultaneously defined position and velocity. Instead, it's represented by a wave function, psi, a complex-valued function of position and time. To represent the complex-valued wave function, we'll introduce two additional axes, one for the real part of psi, and one for the imaginary part. Together with the x-axis, these three axes, position x, real part of psi, and imaginary part of psi, form a mutually orthogonal coordinate system. According to textbook quantum mechanics, a particle in a box is characterized by a discrete set of quantum states, the so-called stationary states, each with a distinct energy value. This is what we refer to as energy quantization. The wave function of a particle moving between the walls is always a linear combination, or superposition, of these stationary states. Let's return to our coordinate system and use it to visualize the first two stationary states of the particle in the box. The lowest energy state, the so-called ground state, psi1, corresponds to half a period of a sinusoidal wave that vanishes at the walls. It's usually taken to be purely real. The next stationary state, the first excited state, psi2, corresponds to one full period of a real sinusoidal wave, again vanishing at both walls. We now consider a quantum state of the particle that at time zero, is a superposition of the ground state and the first excited state, each taken with equal weight. This superposition state is not stationary. Over time, each component acquires a different phase, proportional to its energy. This gives rise to an intricate dance of the resulting, time-dependent wave function, representing the oscillatory motion of the quantum particle between the two confining walls. So, what we've seen is a dynamic picture illustrating the behavior of a simple quantum system, offering a glimpse into the structure of its wave function. We hope you enjoyed this video. To find out more about what we do, visit our website.